What's up guys, it's the old Ninja Warrior AV at Ascender Super Hub bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel and today we're going to be doing, or I guess this week we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to do the combination that you saw at the beginning of this video. This is a slightly complex combination with some harder tricks and so we're going to be breaking it down into multiple parts throughout the week so that by the end of the week if you follow the series you will be able to do this trick with a sword or well, I would suggest a practice sword or maybe a PVC pipe to begin for you beginners just because swords, you know, are dangerous. Even when they're not sharp, they're still dangerous. But what we're going to do for this video is how to start off this combination. How you can do that little trick there, that unsheathing trick. However, as you know, before we get into it, we're going to run that intro. Before we get into the video, I wanted to just ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of my content. That's all, you know, it's, it's up to you. If you hate me, then you can unsubscribe later. Now, if you want a tricking or training sword, you can get those. I will have links in my description for both of them as well as I will have uh, reviews for both the training sword from Sentry and the tricking sword from Cochran's. However, for this video, we're going to use our tricking sword right here. So most swords will have a little piece right here that's a little thicker that will stick into the sheath and keep it tight so it doesn't just slide out automatically. It's still, you know, if you put some force into it, it'll still slide out. But that's not what we want right now. We want it to just easily slide out. So what you're going to do to begin is slide your thumb in and push the sheath off of this little hook right here so that the sheath will slide more freely or the sword will slide more freely once you get that distance what you're going to do is you're going to hold your sword out perpendicular to how you are standing just nice and parallel to the ground but like you know away from you just like this so in one quick motion you're going to pull your sword not out and back straight out all the way until the sword clears the sheath and then you can turn so again, not out and back. You're not pulling like this. You're pulling out so that when you pull, the sheath falls straight down as opposed to pulling towards you and does, doesn't actually, you know, come out of it. Now the catch is the hard part. It can be challenging and might take some practice. So I suggest doing this on grass if you are worried about messing up your sheath or anything like that. Uh, when you pull out, you're gonna wanna turn your hand upside down just like this behind your back so that the sheet can fall in your hand. This again will take some time because you have to exactly know where the sheath will be every time you drop it. So repetition is your friend. However, when you do it, it'll look something like this. Now the last part is when I pull the sword around my head to out to my side. And that's pretty simple, but just in case I'll show you uh, anyway, once you have, you know, the sheath caught just like this, the sword will wrap around your head and out just like that. It's, it's just a simple wrap around, spin halfway, face your front, and there you go. That's it. All together and slow, it'll look something like this. You got extend, out, pull your sheath, catch underhanded just like this around and down now you obviously can't really do this trick slow so all together it'll look something like this hope you guys like this video if you did leave a like and comment that you if you want to see more i will be posting part two three and maybe four throughout the week so subscribe and hit the notification so you don't miss the next part and if you do train this step by step with me you will get the trick it might take some time it might take some repetitions but you will get it in no time and hopefully you guys enjoyed that hopefully that's why you watch my channel but until next time my name is dj moore this is the modern ninja and I'm out.